Okay, Kipsters, so today we're going to talk a lot about uh, changing fractions into decimals. So making fractionish speak decimalish. And the thing about fractions that I hope you remember is that fractions actually can speak any language, right? Uh, so fractions speak any language. You can have a fraction speak sevenish. You can have a fraction speak three-ish. You can have a fraction speak five-ish. Or even 15-ish. Uh, fractions can speak any language. That's the language of the denominator. But the thing about decimals is that decimals can only speak three languages. Okay, and that's and that's what we're going to say is true. If in fifth grade, you'll find out a few more languages they can speak in sixth, but they can speak in tenth, this, hundredth, this, and I think you probably know the last one, thousandth. This. Because those are the blocks on Thuggish Ruggish Road. There is no fifths on thuggish ruggish road there is no fifteenths on thuggish ruggish road there's only tenths hundredths and thousandths and today we're actually going to focus on making fractions uh into decimals by just using this language hundredths and we're going to do that by shading in a hundred grid and you can see some of these hundred grids down here below and i'm sorry about those dark lines those don't mean anything okay uh, but what we want to focus on is trying to make one-fourth down here uh, into a decimal. And what normally happens is that if any old third grade be like, all right, one-fourth is a decimal, that's probably just point one four. They use the one, the four. Uh, we're not going to make that silly blunder. What we're going to do is think about what one-fourth means. One-fourth means one out of every four. So you might be able to figure out what we're going to do. And it's going to take a little while, but it's kind of like coloring. We're actually going to shade in one out of every four boxes on this hundred grid. So take a look. Here are four boxes right there. See those four? We're going to shade in one of them. Here's another four. Shade in one. And we're going to keep doing that for a pretty long time. Here's another four. Shade in one. Here's another four. Shade in one. And as you'll notice, we keep shading in one out of every four. Now what sometimes happens is some Kipsters get done with this top row and they think, up, oh, I've shaded one out of every four. But that's not true. You still have all this stuff down here. So let's go down here and continue shading one out of every four. That's another. And here's another. There's another. They almost look like piano keys or something. Uh, shade in one out of every four. There's your one one out of every four and you're thinking oh I must be done when I get to this part but we still have those two rows on the bottom so you're thinking to yourself well how do I shade one out of every four of these well you can make your fours look different here's a group of four shade in one of those here's another group of four shade in one of those here's another group of four shade in one of those and another group of four shade in one of those and finally here's a last group of four you shade in one of those so we have shaded this entire hundred grid one out of every four of them so in order to make one fourth as a decimal we now need to count how many we actually shaded in so right here I see ten across this row those are all shaded in I see another ten here and then at the bottom I see one, two, three, four, five. 
So 10, 10, and 5 makes 25. Now since it's 100 grit, it's 25 out of 100. And what have we just done? We just made ourselves a decimal. 25 hundredths, as you all know how to write, is 0 0.25. Okay, so 1 fourth as a decimal is 0 0.25. Now, let's try another fraction, like 7 out of 20. This one looks more difficult, but it actually is going to take a lot less time because now we have to shade in 7 out of every 20. So here's a group of 20 right here. Sorry, that's ugly. <laughs> but we shade in 7 of those. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 7 out of 20. Find another group of 20. Shade in 7 of those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And here's another group of 20. Again, apologies for the mess. That's 4, 5, 6, 7 there. Another group of 20. Shade in 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And finally, we have another group of 20 here. Shade in seven more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have shaded in this entire hundred grid, seven twentieths of it. So now, in order to make seven twentieths into a decimal, we need to count how many we shaded in. Well, that was seven here, another seven, another seven, another seven, and another seven. That's seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight, thirty-five. That's 35 out of 100, which means as a decimal, 7 twentieths is 0 